Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nico. I'm a second year medical student currently on clinical rotations and I'm making this video because I've gotten a lot of DMs uh, now with this whole COVID-19 coronavirus situation going on uh, from pre-med students asking me what they should be doing in this time uh, for those students who either were going to take their MCAT this month and it got cancelled or just general MCAT advice. Um, if you're new here, I do have other videos on how I was able to increase my MCAT score by 11 points. The first time I took it, I got a 499, and the second time I got a 510. Um, so I gave all my tips, but I do have a lot of DMs still just asking for more tips, more advice, and that's why I'm making this new updated video. I also have a new perspective because I'm uh, in medical school already, so looking back, there's things I would have done differently. So the way we're going to organize this video is we're going to talk about each of the four sections on its own and what I would do if I can go back in time and I was kind of like at a plateau, what I would do to increase my score in each of these four sections. So I do want to thank Pixarize for sponsoring this video. Uh, Pixarize reached out to me. I looked at their products. I thought that they were really good. I'm actually going to be using them to review the biochemical pathways for my step one studying. And I think it would be a great addition to your study tools uh, when preparing for the MCAT. I'm going to be showing you a little bit what it is and what Picturize does and how it can increase your psych -soc score. So what Picturize does, it basically makes use of visual mnemonics. What that means is there will be a video related to all the concepts that you're trying to learn. And if you watch the video, the video basically has a story inside of it. It's cartoon videos. And if you just watch the video and you watch the cartoon, this cartoon is full of symbols to help you remember key components to the concept that you're trying to learn. Um, so I reviewed the MCAT. Um, basically the MCAT package for Pixarize, and I think that their strongest point was the psych social. So if you do get Pixarize, you would have the pre-medical MCAT package, and it would come along with all of these videos. Um, like I said, I think it would be really helpful for psych social. so they have all the personality theories, the emotion, status, and social stratification, basically all the psych social theories that you need to learn for the MCAT, and each one comes along with a video. So for example, the exchange theory, if you watch this video, it's only four minutes long, but it has all the key components, and each part of the video represents something very important to the concept. And if you just watch the video, I promise you'll never forget. Pixarize, if you get it, it's four hours worth of videos. Just watch the videos, it'll help you. Uh learn the concepts and if you use my code Nico MCAT you'll get 50% off so it's only $45 investment um, and I really do think it's worth it it's not a huge huge investment and it's just like little small videos that are funny and they help you remember key components to a lot of the psych social um, concepts that are difficult to learn moving along what I would also do as I mentioned in one of my previous videos is use the 86 page OCD version of the psych social notes I'm gonna link it down below if you just read 10 pages a day for the next nine days and just do that two times through, I promise like you're gonna be okay. Almost everything that I saw on my MCAT came up in the notes. And if you supplement it with the videos, um, you're bound to never forget a lot of those concepts that you need to know for psych. Also, the double AMC flashcards for psych were actually really helpful. I felt that a lot of the things actually just repeated on my MCAT, a lot of the same concepts that were on those like flashcards. I think it's only 25 of them, but they did come up again, so make sure you do those. Moving along to bio and biochem, my favorite section. Um, I would definitely do all the double AMC question banks, the Q packs, the section banks, whatever they're called. I would do them and do them twice through and understand how to read the graphs. On your test, you need to know how to read the graphs, how to understand the charts, how to interpret them, and the only way to do that really, I think, is through double AMC material. Um, it's really gonna help you just go through double AMC material twice um, for the bio section and understand each individual question. Now for cars, everyone knows that I struggled a lot with cars. Um, I got a 122 the first time I took the test, it was a disaster, and the second time I got a 127 using a method that someone else taught me that I modified that I made a video on. So make sure to check out that video, but my advice right now if uh, you're kind of here in quarantine and you're trying to figure out what to do with the car section, I would pick one strategy and just run with it, try it out for a few passages, and um, don't be afraid to try something new. If something's not working, change it up. Don't think it's gonna magically work on test day. For my method, real quick, if you don't wanna watch the whole video, is 
reading the questions first. I was afraid to do this, but it really did help me. I basically would map out the question so I could have a clear focus when actually reading the passage. And then as I read the passage and I came up, came across something that was asked in one of the questions, I would just answer the question right there and then. So by the time I finished the passage, almost all my questions were already answered. Um, it worked for me, it might not work for you, but there is a video on that if you want a, a more detailed explanation. And then Kem Fizz, oh my God, Kem, Fizz was just a struggle for me. Um, what I would do is make sure you have all the equations down. Again, I really think double AMC material is key. Go through all the double AMC material twice through. Um, make sure you have all the equations down. Kinematics are gonna show up. There's a, I think they're called the big five. Um, learn them because it's gonna come up and they're just silly points that you just can't afford to lose. So another thing I would definitely do if I had extra time to improve my chem fizz score would be to go through the um, the double AMC outline of what can be on your MCAT. Everything, and this is something I learned in med school, everything is linked to an objective or every question is going to be linked to a fundamental concept that you can find in the MCAT guide. Um, so go through it. So yeah, that's basically what I would be doing for each of these sections individually if I had this time off to kind of just increase my score in each one. If you have any questions, make sure to reach out. Don't be embarrassed if you're not scoring well in a section. Reach out to your peers. Reach out to other people online and see what works for other people and see if it would work for you. Um, this is actually a really good time to just kind of increase those scores before you take your test. So as stressful as this is, uh, I know you guys want to take your MCAT. Just take it, use it for your advantage. Um, and make sure you leave me a comment down below what you're doing to increase your MCAT score. Give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in the next video.